Hi Capricorns, welcome in and welcome back and happy birthday. We are in Capricorn season. I'm wishing you all beautiful blessings for your birthday season. Uh, we are in a retrograde still, but it's switching over to Sagittarius. Because when it was in Sagittarius season, it was the retrograde was in your sign. You guys, this is a time right now of just getting over a few hurdles and know that everything is aligning for you in the right direction. Welcome in and welcome back. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me, I go by the feelings I am feeling and the cards. We're going to get started right now with the compass cards. This is good for all placements for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, for love, for Capricorn, Spirit Guides. Strongest energy. Hmm. Thank you. Here we go. What would, do I need to see for Capricorn's current energies? This reading is for. What would you like to show me? Current energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else for Capricorns? Interesting, Capricorns. Underneath the deck is I have storm fields, meaning that a path around you is being cleared. And this is a good card, you guys. Look at all this beautiful green. You are Earth. The green is telling me there's a big energy around you right now for new beginnings, you guys. Yes, we are going into 2024, and it is all about a new year, new beginnings, new resolutions, new starts. But Spirit is saying this big energy around you is pushing you towards somewhere beautiful. And then I have the sacred pool. Details, details. <clears throat> there's a compass on the table, a lot of books, a lot of knowledge. I feel Spirit is telling me right now for you to reflect on the things that you've learned from, from the previous year. It's going to push you in the right direction on a new path, a new journey. Moonlight and balancing act. Okay, they gave me the one ring circus around you right now. What a show. <laughs> you guys, this is a beautiful card about your strength sitting above a body of emotion. Spirit is telling me you have the magic around you to create whatever it is you want. And I always go by how I feel, but this is what I feel. I feel that spirit is telling me, you know, the elephant is one of the most beautiful land animals. It's just telling me right now you are on a big cliff. You know, tap into a lot of inner strength. There's an entity up here. I feel like right now this is all about your power of manifestation. And then there's the new moon for new beginnings. The next card they gave me is protecting your treasure. I'll go over this in a minute what I feel. I feel spirit is telling me for you to protect your own energies right now from sources that may be draining you. That's what I feel. I feel that spirit is telling me whatever you're going through right now, Capricorns, you need to trust in something because it's pushing you in the right direction. Uh, this is a card about just new energy, new beginnings. You know, if you've been feeling lately a little unsure about things, spirit is telling me just protect your own energies. Tap into a lot of inner strength as the elephant who never forgets and know that new beginnings is all around you. Protect your own energies. Sit on top of your own treasure. You, we are our own treasure. I feel spirit is telling me, get ready for a lot of things to change right now, but this is a time of evaluation of what you've been through, what you've learned in this past year, because the compass is on the desk with books telling me that something in your life is about to shift. The compass is the north node, the right direction in which we go. But I feel spirit is saying where you're going right now is something's blowing through to give you the strength to know that new journeys are before you from all the knowledge you've learned from this past year. New beginnings. That's beautiful, beautiful energies around you, Capricorns. You need to just know that wherever you're at right now, just protect your own energies. Stay in this energy of the strength and wisdom and know that something around you right now is just pushing you to a place of where you need to be, your sacred self and new beginnings. All right, let's look at recent past. I'm going to do this deck. I don't know why, but I, you know what? I decided to go with green because I just feel this green, you know, and it's just beautiful energy. Um, I have Scorpio, I have the Tower, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Determination, and Three of Wands. Just like to take some under the deck, I start to set a feeling. Scorpio is a dark night of the soul recently behind you. You had to go through some things with a lot of epiphanies because there was something in your life with you that you had to shed for new beginnings, I feel. Seven of Swords. Five of Wands. Whatever you've been through was a lot of energies with other people, meaning this is the combat zone. This is like, I just feel whatever you've been through recently behind you was, I feel like you snuck away from something. Like the Seven of Swords is a big energy. Um, 
it's about deceit, betrayal, lies, strategy. But the Seven of Swords knows what it's doing. Like you literally didn't want any more conflict with people. Oh, I see why. Because you wanted to go into a new direction. You wanted to start over, even though you didn't have all your clarity on something. Well, you know what? The Seven of Swords, sometimes we have to get away from energies that keep creating conflicts in our life. You use strategy. You just started to realize that I, I don't want to be in that. I don't want to be near that no more. I feel recently behind you, you wanted all new beginnings. And I feel spirit is saying right now it's coming in, Capricorn. It's just be, you're, you're, getting, you're getting led in the right direction. Recent past, I see for Capricorns. What do I need to see for messages? Recent past. Anything else you want to show me? Recent past for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you, spirit guides. They gave sorry thank you i was gonna say that's all they gave me eight of pentacles a lot of work balancing your heart and your mind from a lot of hurtful completions well the ten of swords is telling me whatever you went through and then the three of wands there were a lot of things you went through and not and i feel it was more than once like just uh, I feel you finally got up and walked towards the sun. I feel that you had a vision about something at a distance. I don't feel you walked away, you ran away. I feel that you were going after something new and solid. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Strength and Courage. Wow, Capricorns. Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. I'll go by, I'll say what I feel about your messages, but this is about you balancing something and coming into a big energy of the King of Commitment. And I feel it was with yourself. I feel you put a lot of work into yourself. I feel you left like energies that were just uh, 10 of pentacles on my lap this is everything you want this is your earth energy your home better job the best job best home the best friends the best relationships you saw a whole new truth boy whatever you went through recently behind you you this this ace can hurt it's the ace of swords it's like just you saw something and you cut something out of your life and, and you had a new vision about what you wanted in life. And I feel it was about everything to do with your ultimate stability. Boy, you started taking charge of situations. This is coming into your current energies and the emperor is big. I mean, just taking charge. What was the last card? And the king of pentacles. Holy mackerel. Capricorns. This is beautiful. Spirit is just telling me that you have a lot of power around you right now. Your birth year right now is changing a numerology for the upcoming year for you. It's not your soul path. It's just our whole cycle for the year. Spirit is saying you have all the energy around you right now, Capricorn, to take charge of every situation. And the King of Pentacles is telling me, and you will be a success. I feel Spirit is just telling me, you sit on top of your cliff right now. Protect your own energies because what's coming in for you is a new clear path. Your compass is about to shift and it's from a lot of things you've learned over, the, over this past year, I feel. You're ready. You got all new beginnings coming in. I feel it. And I'm going to look. And who shall I use? I'm going to use the psychic tarot cards today. I don't know why. I have obstacles and challenges. I have an ace awareness and everything coming together for partnerships and alliances rolling in the next few weeks. I feel your awareness card is telling me that whatever obstacles may arise in the next few weeks, because we, you know, retrograde's just not going to be over yet. Spirit is saying that it's all coming together for you. You're going to have the clarity. You're just going to see something in a new way. And your crown chakra, you're just going to be like in this good energy of attracting a good vibration. Strongest incoming energies for Capricorns. Next few weeks. Thank you. What would you like to show? Thank you. Show me strongest incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns. Next few weeks, please. Thank you. Anything else? I knew there was one more. That's why I kept pushing it. I can feel, like I feel. It's so weird, I can't tell you. Oh, look at this. I have mental conflict. Spirit is telling me victory and success with disruption. What do I feel here? Truth, there it is. You know, whatever's coming your way in the next few weeks, it's to get you to the other side of something that you truly want in life, a victory. I feel like you're just gonna be blowing your horn. I feel that spirit is telling me if you feel that in the next few weeks you start to have some mental conflicts about the obstacles you need to, 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 to conquer, spirit is telling me to tell you to stay in your truth. Stay in what you already learned before because that's what I feel with all those books in the compass. Because the sun is before you and look at, there's two fountains of emotion on each side of you, but spirit is telling me to tell you to look into the sun. 
be patient and plan. And everything is coming together. New bits and pieces of your destiny. New people. Just old people. New people. The people that you're connected to is all coming together for you. But Spirit is telling me for you to look past two fountains of emotion. Keep your eyes on what it is you truly want, Capricorn. You know, in the next few weeks. And Spirit is telling me to tell you to stay in your truth. It's going to get you through anything that feels like it may be a little bit of a disruption. If you stay in your truth, stay true to your core, everything is going to open for you. Here we go. First card is an ace, a passion ignited. Spirit is telling me to tell you, find balance. Now, that's a big card. It's card number 11. But Spirit is saying, everything in your world is coming together, Capricorns. Something in your heart is about to become alive. And Spirit wants me to tell you to find balance with it. Meaning that don't get overly like, just find balance and know whatever's coming in for you is for new beginnings. I have material harvest. You guys, your hands are open. Spirit is telling me that you're about to receive a lot of things. And I feel Spirit is telling me to tell you not to give up on hope. Look at the yellow and the yellow. I always look at colors. I feel Spirit is telling me your hope will create a lot of material harvest for you in the next few weeks. Hold on to something that's about to become a blaze in your heart. And it's the circle of balance. Like I feel Spirit is telling me to stay in your own truth. Have patience and plan. And you're headed in the right direction towards the sun. Parts of your destiny are coming in for material harvest. The last card they gave me is discontent and boredom. Interesting. You guys, this is what I'm going to say to you. All right. This is green. Spirit is telling me the things that you find in life that you're becoming discontent and bored with. It's time for you to move into a new journey because a path is cleared. I just feel the whole thing Spirit is telling me is for you to get past any emotion you may feel. It's not nothing you really want anymore. It's not what you think you want anymore. Spirit is telling me for you to patience and plan. Stay in your truth. This ace that's about to become a blaze in you, it's going to lead you somewhere with a lot of hope and it's going to lead you to the top of your mountain victory. Just find balance. Whatever you're putting out there, Capricorns, if you start to feel like, well, this isn't what I want anymore, Spirit is saying everything's ignited for you to go towards a new direction with a passionate new beginning and just all you need is your hope. Wow, that was beautiful. I'm going to get some uh, messages from Spirit Guides. Um, I'm going to go over here and then I'll get some angel messages and then love crossing at the end if you've been dealing with somebody. Six of Swords, Light at the End of the Tunnel, Four of Wands, and then I have Sun, the Sun. All right, Four of Wands is your 11-11. I always take a few cards under decks in the Seven of Swords, but that's a card of strategy. These are messages about this reading today. I feel that uh, Spirit is trying to tell me that if you find situations in your life that just you don't want anymore, I feel Spirit is saying that you, you can walk away whenever you want. You have the power, I feel. Stay in the sun. Messages for Capricorns today, Spirit Guides, about the reading. Messages. What would you like to tell the sign of Capricorns? Thank you. Anything else? Next few weeks' messages about this reading today. Wow, I got a flipper looking right at me. Page of Wands. This is new fire energy, you guys. New adventures, new excitement. Who's on the bottom? But it's time for you to lay down a lot of weights. This is burdensome situations. This is things that you should not be carrying around anymore and come into an energy of knowing what you deserve. The self-mastery, the Nine of Pentacles, feeling whole. Wow, don't let your thoughts block you because that was the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is fearing the unknown. Here we are, messages. Five of Pentacles, self-fulfilling prophecies. I have it with the Knight of Air. And then the Queen of Air, logic, truth. You guys, the Five of Pentacles is an energy. Spirit is saying, if you feel like you've been here before and you feel like, oh, not again, I, you know. Spirit is saying, we'll see the truth of a situation and go after something with a new viewpoint. Go after more information. Go after communication. And you trust your intuition because you have a sword. And that's the sort of truth. Wow. King of Fire is sideways. Page of Cups is in reverse. And I have two cards left. They're perfectly lined for you. One cross and one up. I'm sure. Page of Cups in reverse with the King of Fire telling me that you have the determination and the drive. 
You have the will for new beginnings. Just do everything with love. I feel they're telling me to tell you to find balance between determination and something you want with love. I have strength and courage. You guys ready? Spirit is telling me that you have all the strength and courage you need. You're on your boat going towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Spirit is saying that you're headed in the right direction. You know, this is a card about traveling, taking your mind to different places. And then I have all this air energy. I feel Spirit is telling me to tell you, if you get back into an energy of feeling like, oh no, not again, or woe is me, or God, I don't want, I feel totally isolated. See the truth of the situation. You're not, that's a big queen. And that's the night of air, it trumps that. It's like go after something with a viewpoint because Spirit is saying you have the strength and courage. You are headed towards the light at your end of your tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. If that's, that was a big message for you guys and I hope it helped you today. I hope this reading helped you, my beautiful birthday Capricorns. Wish you know many beautiful birthday blessings. Beautiful reading for you. I'm going to get some angel messages. It always ties this reading together. Oh, Leap of Faith. I heard, look, I don't know who's under these decks. So the Leap of Faith is about the zero. Do what brings you joy. Going in new directions. A few cards today for my beautiful Capricorns. Thank you. If you can tell Capricorns anything about this reading today, what do you want to tell the sign? I'm sorry, I just got to take it. What do you want to tell the sign of Capricorns? Any more cards? One or two? Any more messages for, I see. Wow, look at all the angel of earth, Ariel. Okay, I'm not gonna read it. First card on my left is the eight of Michael. Angel Michael gave you the eight. It's right here, it's a message for you. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Wow, I saw the Queen of Air and the Knight of Air and the Six of Swords. It's all air energy. You know, Angel Michael is the Angel of Air. So I just feel that Spirit is saying that gates are open for you, Capricorns. All you got to do is walk through. You know, make a courageous choice to change your situation. You can be free. Beautiful card. Oh, look at this. I got the Seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavors, Capricorn. If you start to get head up, get caught up in your head, you know, the Spirit is saying, come back down to earth. Come back into your own energy. That's what I feel. And then they gave you the Knight of Ariel, the Angel of Earth. Oh, this is beautiful. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. You are being watched over by someone kind. I feel your spirit guide is trying to push you in a new direction. Have patience, wait for the harvest, and make a courageous choice to change your situation. You can be free. Not seeing things clearly. All right, you guys. I am a Capricorn moon, and emotionally, this does resonate with me. I never think of myself till after it's done. I'm like, I got message received. All right, you guys, beautiful blessings to everyone. I'm rolling into Love Crossing now. Thank you for viewing me today. If you are in a harmonious affair, no relationship, or just not dealing with anyone, you know, I get it. So those aren't going to be for you. You guys, thank you. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful holiday season. For those of you wanting to know about Love Crossing, I get one deck, uh, Everyday Witch, and I ask for the strongest Love Crossing energies. This is general. They may or may not be all your person. Some this much can be moved around. I have the moon. Oh, shit. Well, the Pisces energy, I don't go by the signs. I just go by the energies, but that's a very, they're feeling something. They feel it. They know something. Four of cups, eight of pentacles, and then destiny, the lovers. I feel this person's putting a lot of work into things in their life. And it has to do with the things that they truly want to come together because they feel their Capricorn is their true destiny. I can hear you now, Capricorns, but it's okay. Spirit guides, current energies. I got to do one more shuffle. They're stuck. Love. Thank you, Spirit guides. Strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. What would you like to show me? Tell me about the strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Capricorn. Show me what I need to see, please. Thank you. I see. Anything else? 
I see. Thank you. I started hearing some stuff in my head. Some, something, I, I, something like I heard the strongest, like they're never telling me the truth or I want more than this. I need more, I need more information. I need, somebody needs to know something from you. Five of Cups, Eight of Cups. And there it is, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Oh, the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. So, okay, there it is. I don't know why I said Ace of Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> you guys think what's going on? I'll get to in a minute. Somebody wants more information. This is the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Air. Somebody wants more information. I started hearing these this stuff in my head, you guys. I've been doing this for a long time. I had it since I was a child. I had shit happen to me, but... I really feel somebody wants more information from you about something here. Is this over or is this not? I feel they have been staying down this rabbit hole of sadness, you guys, and the Eight of Cups is someone who's not sure if they should walk away or not. They want more information. They feel completely isolated from you and they're just in a phase of they're not sure. The Two of Pentacles and the Moon. I already felt the energy. So whoever you've been dealing with wants to know something from you, Capricorns. Six of Cups and the Hanging Man. Aww. Oh, Capricorns, this person is nuts about you. There, you guys, this is someone who is having a place of, they think they're playing the victim or they feel like maybe something here is their fault or they always feel like they have to play the victim for some reason. Somebody wants information from you. And I feel they want to know if you still love them. I have, yeah, I have the seven of wands in reverse. And then I have someone who's mapping out a plan, the king of fire. I love that king of fire. Oh, that's a determined king. Very charismatic. But it's somebody who doesn't want... I just kind of feel like this is a person who, you know, the seven of wands is, is, is a, a big energy of claiming their personal power and going up against forces. But I feel they don't want to anymore. I feel what this person wants is some type of clarity from you because they feel like you have always been the shoe that fits. They want more information. They want the truth about something. They want to know something. They're going to communicate to you about something, Capricorns. Now, if this is somebody who's done you wrong, I get it. Your path is being cleared for new beginnings. This is somebody you want back. They want information from you. They're, good. They're coming in to get it. All right, let's look at their intentions because I think it's going to say the same thing. This person needs to talk to you. They want to know something. All right, I'll go right here. Oh, the world, chapter over, new cycles begin. Someone's eager to get something new started with you. But they're going back and forth about their own thoughts and always feeling completely isolated. They're gonna break through. They can't, they can't take the weight anymore of something here. Strongest love intentions towards Capricorns. Thank you. What do I need to see? Strongest love. Really? I see. Intentions towards Capricorns. Next few weeks. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah. No. No, they get choppy, you can tell. High Priestess, I got a few on my lap. Who do I have? Three of Cups, a reunion, and the Knight of Earth sideways. That's how I picked them up. I'll just take them that way. I'll see what I feel here. Reunion, Knight of Earth. They got courage, but I don't know if they got enough yet. And the Knight of Earth is a very methodical knight, meaning somebody who's mapping out a plan. Trusting their intuition to get to their Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. They want to come and put work into something here with you, Capricorns. They want their ultimate stability with their Capricorns back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Eight of Cups, Four of Wands. I see. You guys, this is somebody who wants a reunion. It's a reunion card again. It's the 1111. I feel they're leaving situations in their life that aren't making them happy because what they want is a reunion with you. Ace of Cups, my beautiful Capricorns, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. This person thinks you guys are a divine counterpart. They want a new opportunity of love with you and Capricorns are not going to give up. They are coming in. Here comes the Knight of Love. This Knight is on a mission. But you see, I saw the Knight of Pentacles sideways. So this person is being very methodical every step, itsy bitsy at a time. They want a reunion. I don't do third party. It could be, but that's a very minute amount. This person wants a reunion with you. They feel that you have, been, they're going to, you know what I feel? It's like, they're going to try to get this to you. Um, like it's a new year. Let's start over. It's a new beginning. How about a first date again? How about 
this person's coming in to get information from you. They're going to try to get their foot in the door and they're trusting their intuition how to work on this with you. Let's just see what happens, Capricorns. All right, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Who's this? Oh, that's right. Capricorn. And this is, oh, in the Empress. You guys, somebody's going to nurture something here with you. They want to put nurturing energy into this with you. They feel that you two are a divine counterpart. The Six of Cups is showing up. This is a person who wants to make something here work with their beautiful Capricorns. Wow, Capricorns all over this reading. Wow, I, I think that was, this is crazy. I don't even know where both those Queen of Pentacles, sometimes you guys just show up. That's your energy, Capricorns. Anyway, beautiful reading today. You guys. Happy holiday season. Wishing you all many abundant, beautiful blessings. Thank you for your love and support. Happy birthday. And I will see you next time. Thank you.